when you started this, what, how did you get that on the right then? Um, I actually just cut out a little piece of it, put it in a test tube with some water, and put that drop of that water. What we're doing today, we're calling this BCI uh, Science School, and we're taking it here to this school, and um, you know we're very excited about it. This is something that we want to take to many more schools around the state of Ohio, and this is really the first here in Springfield. So what do we do at, at BCI? What do are, what are these folks right here do, you think, every day? What are they trying to do? Um, they solve crime. They solve crime. What we're trying to do with this whole program is to get kids interested in science. Um, the station that I was working at, we had set up to be a chromatography station. It shows color change and separation. What we're doing is separating out different inks that were used to write a possible ransom note. Here's the ransom note that was left behind yesterday at the crime scene. <coughs> It says, Peter Pan, I know where your hat is, ha, ha, ha. We had six different markers that we used, um, and we basically put a spot of each of them on a piece of filter paper. We set it into a beaker with water in it, and we watched how those inks separated out. Each of these ink pens was different, and it left a different color pattern on the piece of paper. Yours looks like it has, is it this one? Which one? Did, yep, that's the one you used. So the kids were able to then compare that um, ink pattern from their pen to the pen that was used to write the ransom note, and then they determined which pen actually wrote the ransom note. You are correct. I like science because I want to I be a police officer and a scientist. Science is fun because you can do a lot of stuff that you've never done before, like you can do... You can do projects and stuff like that. Well, sometimes, you know, we don't know who committed the crime. And so what do, what do people, when they, what do, what, do, what do we leave back every single day? What do you think? All day, you're, you might be leaving something. When you touch something, what do you think? DNA. DNA. We had to draw on a paper, then dip it into the water, and then see who wrote the note, who stole Peter Pan's hat. Then we put the swabs in our mouth to write our initials or our name. They were doing some basic experiments, but they're basic experiments that, you know, our folks actually do. The other test that we're using is actually a, a test similar to what we do to test for blood um, on pieces of evidence. Um, so they're just adding colors, um, chemicals to some swabs that have some samples on them. Um, and then they're getting a color change reaction similar to what we would get if we were testing for blood in the laboratory. It's been awesome. I mean, the kids have been so engaged in what they're learning, and they don't often get a, a lot of chances to do the hands-on work. And so to be able to experience it and to see real-life scientists and crime scene investigators be the ones teaching them the science and the math involved in this kind of um, a career, it's really exciting for them, so it's been awesome. Science should be fun, and that's, that's kind of what our message is today.